What's going on YouTube? Daniel Talks here. And it is currently night outside, but but it's okay, you know. The thing I wanted to go over today was being okay with talking about yourself and not worrying what a lot of people say about you. Because the thing I learned is as you do this YouTube thing and as you grow as a person, there's going to be a lot of people who doubt you and there's going to be a lot of people who are trying to just put you down and and make you seem like you're not going to make it in anything but i'm gonna tell you right now that that is a lie and you can keep going and just there's a switch that you got to switch on to where your mentality is not worrying about that type of person anymore more just focusing on yourself if you do have somebody you trust somebody you don't like take i guess take seriously but you have somebody that will let you know when things look bad for example if i have a video out and that video is trash i need somebody to be real with me and tell me that video is not looking good that thing looks horrible and you're gonna get made fun of but there's a difference between somebody who's telling you that as a friend and helping you out and trying to see the best for you and then there's somebody who has it out for you and who's trying to stab you in the back whenever whenever they get the chance you know so it's like choose your group and choose who you are in community with wisely because the people who you associate yourself with the people who are in your close group close knit of friends that's the group that's going to stick with you or hopefully stick with you through when you blow up and you become bigger and hopefully your group becomes bigger as well with you helping them out it's not just a it's not just a one person help the other person type of situation it's more like you want to be in a group where everybody's helping out everybody you know look for mentors if you want help in a single situation and look for people who are better than you and get in a friend group that's better than you honestly because if you are you'll learn more from them than you'll ever learn with a group that's trying to bring you down in a group lower than you you know it's just it's really who you associate yourself with. That's that's the main thing, you know. If I become big, if I blow up on YouTube, Instagram, whatever, TikTok, what I want to do is I want to make a change. I want to make something that hasn't been done before, but I got to brainstorm all of this stuff. I got to realize what my capabilities are and who I'm going to bring around me. I understand from the Bible, I understand that mankind wasn't meant to be alone. And doing so, I need to choose who I'm going to be with, either one, for the rest of my life, two, the friends that I'm going to keep around for, for my life as well. Because there's these two types of relationships. It's the ones that are just acquaintances or people you know, and even people you don't know. And then it's two, the people who are going to stick around for you and be there for the long run. So it's really... It's going to be a really hard battle and really hard situation for me, I think, to finally understand and figure out who's going to be there. And that's where I'm at right now. So I'm in college right now. I'm trying to find a good community of people that are like minded and think the same way I do. And that's pretty hard, man. That's pretty hard, especially when you're an introvert and when you don't like talking a lot. I know that kind of seems weird because I'm here talking on the video right now, but I'm an introvert myself and I get that it can be hard. And actually kind of a little bit terrifying to talk to people and actually go out of your way and try to make friends. Now, there's two ways I could approach this. One way being quit being a baby, quit whining and actually go talk to people and get out of that comfort zone and stop acting like the whole world is going to end if I talk to somebody. That's one way I could approach it. Two, I could just be a baby, sit inside, wait for somebody to come talk to me which is kind of what I'm doing right now, just being honest. But, you know, I, I, I realize those are my options right now. And I realize that nothing will change unless I bring about that change and actually put myself out there and do stuff. For example, going to these clubs like I'm talking about, I talked about in like two videos prior. Uh, we're trying to look for these clubs and trying to actually put myself in the position to be able to build a community and build a, a group of friends that are like-minded and, and growth-minded. But we're seeing how that's going. It's kind of kind of going slow right now. 
but at least I'm taking the next step forward in my journey to try and reach these types of people and reach these types of levels that I have set for myself. And you should as well. Now it's 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 cool that I'm doing this and it's cool that I'm I'm trying to build a personal brand, build a reputation online because I feel like that's how you get your reps in. Um, especially when I want to create my type of a, a business. I would consider myself to want to be an entrepreneur one day. I want to understand what the market needs. And that's kind of hard because what I like to do is I like to help people. I like to give advice when I can and what I could speak on from personal experiences. And I like fitness. I like stuff like that. But I see there's also a lot of people doing the same things I do. A lot of people talking how I do. A lot of people doing better than I do. And I know that I have competition. And that's also part of being an entrepreneur. But that's where not giving up and thinking outside the box, being creative steps in. I feel like if I have that and I keep being consistent with trying to be somebody better than who I was the other the next day, I feel like that's where it comes into play how my business will stand out against the rest and keep trying to understand what I could do to do better and provide more of a service for other people. But yeah, tonight I just wanted to come outside, do a quick recap of what we're learning, what we're doing over the week and the weeks to come. Um, we're going to try to keep advancing in our videos, keep being consistent with this. Uh, it's pretty hard. It's pretty difficult. But if we keep pushing through, I know we'll make it out. And I know you'll make it out, too, if you keep listening to this. Um, but, yeah, God bless. Uh, quick video. But, you know, it was cool. Read your Bibles, all right? Peace out.